everybody for the honor of Friday the 13th being yesterday I'm going to review Friday the 13th it is the first time I saw this movie so this movie came out 1980 so it is as old as Star Wars the Empire Strikes Back so that's something and uh, it's about these group of teenagers who are out camping at some uh, this one camp and uh, they think things are going well until a mysterious being that is murdering these teens uh, is happening and they have to uncover what this person is and it turns out it, it could be Jason Voorhees or is it and uh, I gotta say uh, this movie was okay I heard the Friday the 13th movies aren't like the best of the horror franchise but Jason Voorhees is like easily one of the most iconic horror villains of all time even though we find out in this movie spoilers I mean this movie's 40 years old but uh it turns out Jason Voorhees is not in this movie it the the killer turns out to be Jason Voorhees mom I was actually surprised by that because when I watched Scream in the scene the opening scene they actually talk about uh Friday the 13th and the one Casey Becker says it's Jason Voorhees who's the villainous and it turns out the question's wrong it's actually the mother who is the killer so this mother is basically the killer because she wants revenge because her son died which is Jason Voorhees who who drowned and no one came in to save him so she wants to kill as much teenagers as she can at this camp and so far does I think my big issue with this movie is just I couldn't really get into the characters. Like, I get into the characters of Scream. Because I felt the chemistry with those characters for some reason. But in this movie, I don't know. I just see these as teenagers in the 70s or 80s. Kind of just hanging out and then things go wrong for them. That's how I view these characters. Because it opens with, with this one girl who who literally goes on the camping trip. We do see her, like, her travel bag. She goes on the bus, but then she is lured into a car because she's known to hitchhike. And I thought this is so dumb. Like, why? Never hitchhike. This is real-life advice. Just don't hitchhike because you don't know who the stranger is. They could be dangerous, and you don't know if the hitchhiker's dangerous. That's how it is. It's like it's like Craigslist. <laughs> but uh, she hitchhikes, and then turns out it's the killer. Who chases her and then she literally kill she's literally killed in the woods and I don't even think they find her body it's just as these scenes go on like each of the teenagers keep getting killed we also see Kevin Bacon so I don't I never really watched much of Kevin Bacon but I've seen him in some movies like X-Men First Class the Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special maybe that's just me because I love Marvel but uh, I saw him in uh, wild things I thought he was something in that movie but uh, I saw him in this movie and I forgot he was in Friday the 13th but his character man he looks so young like seriously like it's crazy that this movie came out in the 80s like like when the first Halloween it came out in the 70s it's just like I don't know and his character's killed off when he broke the rules of horror movies is to never have sex or do drugs and he was smoking and there's a lot of sex scenes in this the movie literally opens with a group of kids hanging out in the 50s but they're killed off but looks like uh jason's mom and it looks like kevin bacon's character literally gets stabbed through the throat by something and it's like twirling around him like the deaths they're so over the top like people are stabbed to death people are hung literally like it's brutal and it ends with this one girl who has blonde hair I, I don't know their names I'm sorry I'm not good at names she's the last survivor as she starts to see that everyone is killed even her one friend who's in a cabinet by herself she's literally killed after she's lured out after hearing what looks like the voice of Jason and what literally happens is our the blonde girl she literally meets up with uh Jason's mom that's where we find out who the killer is it's kind of like every slasher movie 
it ends with our protagonist, or one of the good guys, facing down against our killer, and we find out who it is. Yeah. Like in the Scream movies, or if, for example, uh, I know what you did last summer, where the our characters fight the, the fisherman who's revealed to be the person they accidentally hit. But in this movie, it's Jason's mom, and, and the way Jason's mom dies in this, spoilers... She, our character, she literally grabs a machete that she, Jason's mom's trying to kill her with. She grabs that after tackling her down. It's a pretty good fight, but then her head is literally decapitated by our character. And then her head just flies off and she makes like this funny motion. Like there's so many kind of awkward moments in this movie where our characters die. They make like these screech sounds or funny faces and it's like it's meant to be over the top. But then our character goes on a life preserver. She just leaves after killing her. Honestly, it is self-defense since the killer was going around killing people. But uh, as she's drifting in the water for a f- couple of hours, she-, she wakes up and then the rescue team's there. But what happens is l- what looks like a kid version of the kid of Jason Voorhees comes out of nowhere all zombified and she attacks her. It's a jump scare. But then she wakes up in the hospital and it turns out to all just be a nightmare. And she asks if the boy was real and they're like, what boy? And it, it, she thought it was Jason. And then it, it turns out the, all the devs, they were real. But uh, the, the Jason zombie, that, that, was, that wasn't real. Or was it? But uh, the movie does end. And uh, that's Friday the 13th. It it's a, uh, I think it's a decent movie. Like I don't, I, I wouldn't say it's bad. It's just like, it felt. Well, I don't know. Maybe it's because I've seen other horror movies. I'm more into other horror movies. But this was the early start of this slasher horror movie genre. I can respect it for what it was trying to be a simple horror movie. Maybe some horror movies just need to be more simpler. I'd probably give this movie a, a 6 out of 10. Like, it, it's okay. Uh, the plot twist was pretty good with the mom. And, uh, I don't know. I just wish we could have gotten Jason. But, uh, it turns out we see him in the next movie. So, uh, I, I wanted to get this review out yesterday. But I just, I didn't make the time to do it. But anyway, uh, I think the next review is something with Neb Campbell. I'm going to review, um, the this one ghost movie and then I'll probably review Scream. I, I've already reviewed before I reviewed this but uh, anyway that being said thanks for watching and see you guys next time